Welcome back to the Savvy Camper. So we are out camping in the middle of nature. We're loving it. So a um, few of you have asked, uh, we've got our inverter install video up, but a few people have asked how we actually use our inverter. So let me show you. Um, I don't know how long we're gonna keep this travel trailer, so I didn't wanna permanently hardwire outlets, things like that in the trailer. Um, so what we did was, we basically, we installed our inverter here, and then we have our short power cable. We have a dog bone adapter here, short power cable that comes down through here. And then, as you can see, it just plugs into our short power um, outlet there. So um, that works really well for us. And when we're camping in the cold, we can close this door and I can latch one side and then leave this. I thought about making a little cutout or a little cutout at the bottom, but actually this works pretty well and it doesn't hurt anything. It does le let a little cold air in, um, but the heater just has to work a little bit more um, because I like to get up in the morning and turn our inverter on. We have a remote switch in the camper and I I'll show you that in a second. And basically it powers your uh, short power cable just like if you were plugged in to a household outlet. And then you can run all of your 110 volt devices just as if you were at home or at a campground with plug-in. So let me show you in the camper what we had to do to make that work. If we had a camper that I knew I was gonna keep for a few years, I would have hardwired it in, um, but I just really didn't want to. Um, so we have a switch right here. You just push it like that and then it turns the inverter on. We just heard our microwave turn on because now we have power. And uh, so uh, that is it. You push the button, you can make your coffee, you can turn on your microwave, run your things. It's great. One thing you do need to do is uh, look on your fuse panel for your converter charger. And we had to find ours. Ours is not labeled, but yours might be. But if not, you can pull this cover off and you can trace the wire because it is basically just installed back there. So I put in a new breaker, this 15 amp breaker, um, to run our uh, charger converter off a separate breaker because you wanna turn this off if you're running on your inverter wired like we are because if you had it on, listen to this. Well, it's you can hear the fan go on on there. So basically now we're charging our batteries, but we're we have our batteries on and then we're trying to charge our batteries with our batteries through the inverter and there's some loss in that. So um, you wanna make sure that that's turned off so you're not just wasting your battery around in a circle. Um, I believe it was on this general breaker. So all we did was take the wire from that and run a new breaker there and um, wire it up. I've got another video that we did on how to wire that circuit and I'll show a card up and I'll, I can have it linked at the end of this video. So you don't miss out so you learn how to wire that yourself. but that's the gist of it is it's an easy wiring and it just runs like you're on shore power and then when you're done with it you click the button your coffee's made and it turns off and then the microwave should actually turn off in a few minutes it's got some really yep there it goes residual power in the capacitors um that is it it's a quick uh easy way to hook up an inverter without doing a bunch of hard wiring um, and like I said, if we did have a trailer that we wanted to keep for a while, I would uh, hardwire it in and have, I don't know if I'd do one or two outlets or just kind of have all of them live. I don't know what I would do. Um, the only thing that really was important to us is the coffee pot, but it is nice to have the microwave wired in. And then uh, if it's rainy, we can watch the TV on the inverter. Um, so that is it. It's uh, pretty quick and simple. It's a 20 minute video to watch how we install the inverter, um, but then uh, it's not too hard to install, but then not having to do the back end wiring is a lot nicer to just run off of um, kind of your short power cable like that. But make sure, like I said, you have an area where you can turn off your charger converter so you're not just cycling your batteries round and round in a circle. Anyways, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments as usual. We'll see you later. Bye.